I sit back, Lucas, sometimes and, and wonder, you know, they, they must be a few fries short of a Happy Meal, these people, because I just don't, I don't get it. I remember back in May when the golf courses reopened, I was so thrilled. I love to golf and I was so pleased that a thing that I enjoy doing was being allowed again. Other people were frustrated. They said, it's not fair because I like doing this, that, and the other. An indoor activity, say, people liking to go to indoor concerts. And they said, why is it that golfers get to have their fun, but I don't? Hey, I get it, but what do you want? It's an outdoor sport, lots of clean air. Lots of distancing already in place. That's why game on. And I think we're going to be primed for some similar social tensions coming up in the months ahead as we head into the fall and we start to debate what the targeted lockdowns should look like. I hope it's fair to say that no one in Canada wants to see a full-scale second lockdown like we had in the spring. But we've certainly got premiers across the country looking at doing different things. In BC, they've already said no nightclubs, no banquet halls. Karaoke, just the nature of karaoke, which involves singing, I don't think uh, at this point you can consider that a safe activity. Sorry, karaoke fans, you can bid bye-bye to that at least for the next few months, for the next six months or year or so. In Ontario, Doug Ford, he's threatening that people could see big fines for large social gatherings. It's the, the host that's going to be charged $10,000 and individuals that show up to the parties uh, it's going to be $750. Even large family gatherings that you bring all the extended family into the mix and you might find yourself actually going above the allowable number. Ontario says that those sorts of indoor large social gatherings, even private ones, well, they've been causing a lot of headaches and they've been behind a lot of the uptick in cases. A wild party in the backyard that people are drinking, hugging, kissing, spitting, every other thing they could possibly think of, not paying attention to the rules. Well, what should it be? What do you want to see shut down? A lot of people, their jaws dropped when they heard that a number of strip clubs in the GTA, a couple of them had been responsible for spreading a number of cases. Strip clubs? Why on earth were they open and they hadn't yet figured out how to reopen the schools? That's what a lot of people said. But then when it comes to the schools, I support them being reopened. I think teachers are doing amazing work in Ontario. But at the same time, a lot of people are fear-mongering over the schools. They think they should not be open. They want to see the schools shut down. And clearly, some parents, about 15% of them, they don't feel schools are safe. They're choosing to keep their kids home. So what activity do you think should absolutely be cherished and kept open at all costs? And which ones do you think, why are we even letting that happen right now? Time to shut it down. Because you better believe we're definitely going to be having quite a debate about these issues in the weeks ahead.